why don't you and James come to live with me? I know Dad would approve. But it means that we can both escape the horrors of life with my brother. What do you say? <laughs> oh, and I had a letter from... You haven't got an audience. There's usually a lot of interest in the comings and goings here. Oh, they won't think that I'm your new... Well, that we're lovers. If you change your mind, I'm sure you can move back into home farm. If I was there, people would probably assume I was having an affair with Chris. They're not that twisted round here. He is my brother. Unless you don't want me here. Listen, I'd love the company. And having James. Oh, good. She's very pert, isn't she? Now that I'm back, I think we'd better set out a few ground rules. Yes, cool. That's rule one, remember who's in charge. Rule two, cut out the sexist jibes. Well, what would I talk about? Zoe! You drop these. Rule two, Paddy, rule two. Oh, sexist jibes. <laughs> right, here's the future. Why are you so happy? Just moved out of home farm. Can't be anywhere from our place at the moment. If there's anything I can do, can you imagine why Dad would say if you turned up? Can't even tolerate social workers, but the friendly neighbourhood lesbian. To freak. Less of the friendly. So, how about... I feel at home here already. Oh, you look it. <laughs> and I don't even need an intercom here, James. It's all... Small and cosy. <laughs> well, you won't have any steak to deal with him if he does wait. <laughs> I'm hopeless when I've had a drink. <laughs> Why? What do you do? I can't say. Do you know? No, I'm intrigued. You'd be shocked. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm wicked. Why, have you done something really horrible, like sleep with a decoy? <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> well, I had it all down, didn't I? <laughs> Sure enough to get up the doff. Thank you, Paddy. Well, I think she could cope. Yeah, people are like animals, aren't they? It comes naturally, really. Ah, would you care to change this nappy? Um. <laughs> Good morning. Good night. I'm so sorry, Zoe. Um, I got drunk. So I've heard. Well, the smell of this should make you feel a lot better. Oh. Excuse me. Can I just have some aspirin and a shower first? No, you can't. It's past 11 and I'm supposed to be going to visit my brother in hospital. Oh, how is he? Fine, thank you, but I would like to see him. And if you want to make a fool of yourself with the local riffraff, I suggest you do it on your own time, OK? Mm-hmm. Yes. A bit strong, wasn't it? Haven't you got some calls to make? I'm really sorry for what happened last night. No, forget it. I can't. Because I made a right fool of myself. Not at all. You're a beautiful woman, Zoe. You must get men trying to seduce you all the time. It happens. Oh, so I suppose you thought it was just another chat up mind. No, I was very moved by what you told me. That was the truth. I'm better glad it wasn't broadcast to everyone. Understood. Forgotten. We'll just continue with our normal working relationship. Thanks. Couldn't it be a little more than that? No, I know it couldn't be that sort of relationship. But we can be close friends, can't we? My point of view, Steve, if I'm attracted to someone, do I settle for just being friends, or do I ask for something more and risk being told I'm a freak? Or even losing the friendship? Or well, do you have someone in mind? I'm just going to take James to the clinic. Did you want anything in the hot? Mm. No, it's okay, Sophie. I'm off my ride soon. I'll, I'll see you when I get back. Okay, see ya. I was talking hypothetically. Oh. Oh, cheers, thanks. I'm glad I ran into you. Um, about this morning. Yeah. I'll treat everything you told me in confidence. I'd be grateful if you could say me anything I might have said. Of course. I wish you'd trust me a bit more, Zoe. I don't want to make any judgments about you or your life. I just want to be your friend. Yeah. yeah thanks, Mindy. Thanks, Alan. Thanks. Steve, I know you mean well, but you haven't been here long enough to know what life in a village is all about. If you mean gossip, I've already had my share. 
Life's too short to let those sort of people get to you. Mm, it's easy for you to say. I am not just a lesbian, I am a tate, so everything I do ends up under the magnifying glass. Look, Zoe, if there's somebody who means so much to you, you ought to tell them. If you don't, you'll spend the rest of your life regretting it. I could end up doing that either way. You can't lose what you haven't got. Zoe, I've uh, got the appointment book up to date. Is there anything else you want to do before I go? No, it's okay, Linda. Get off to the wine bar. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! See ya! Oh! Looks like James isn't going to wake up for a while, so you can get off early too if you want. It'd be nice off, isn't it? Yeah, but I haven't really got anything planned. Oh. Um. Well, you can always stay and have a meal with me if you've got nothing better to do. Yeah. I'd like that. Great. Um. Do you have a bottle of wine while I'm cooking? Which do you prefer, red? White? Um, I'll let you decide that. I'm sure you know more about it than me. <laughs> Maybe I'll cook something special. I haven't done any serious cooking since. Well, it never seems worth making anything elaborate when you're just on your own. <laughs> Can I help? Not exactly cordon bleu class, but why well, I quite enjoy cooking. Great. <laughs> so what shall we drink to? Um. Well, here's to us. Everything seems to be bubbling along nicely. Oh, well, should I get that? No, 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 you didn't switch through to the emergency number. No, can we'll deal with it. I see. You're having a night off too. Well, I decided we could do without interruptions. Give us a chance to get to know each other better. Sophie, I don't think I could have got through these last few months without you. It must have been a nightmare. Kim disappearing and then your father being charged. Most people in your position would have got out at the first sign of trouble. I know you could have found another job if you wanted, but um, I'm just glad you stayed. I wouldn't let you down, Zoe. No, I know, and, and you've just been wonderful with James, but I want you to see me as more than your boss. I, I, I want us to be friends, close friends. Try and make the custom. Oh. How do you feel about it? I don't know. It's not something I've ever had to deal with before. I've been out with a few boys, but none of them ever meant anything. Well, maybe you've just not met the right one. That's what I used to tell myself. It's what Dad still thinks. And you know that's not true. Not for me. Look, I don't want to push you into anything. Maybe it's just we just forget this conversation ever took place. Maybe I don't want to forget it. I'm out. This is your position. On my desk by lunchtime. Oh, no. Steve deals with that sort of thing, then. Got other things to talk to him about. Okay. All this means I'm not going to have a lot of spare time. I want you and James to move back into home farm. I need my son with me. I take it that's not inconvenient. Of course not, Mr. Tate. Glad to hear it. Must be time for James's morning walk. Pretty girl. Yes, she is. There's a lot to be done, and I need your help. I wouldn't want there to be any distractions. Baby. Hi, uh, Hi. Well, it'll be a bit of a problem in my job. <laughs> Since them gave birth, they've been the only topic of conversation that I've like. She's feeding, she's nothing you're changing, she's got wind, she's fed up with it. Well, it just seems a bit of a waste of time. You feed her, change her, wind her, and a couple of hours later you need it all again. Yes. <laughs> Who thought they'd have invented a computer to plug them into by now? Oh, that put me on the dole. <laughs> Not so bad. All you have to worry about is catching your jars. Yeah, it's got to be better than working for the tape. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, that does have its problems sometimes. I'm giving you a hard time? No, just the opposite. I don't think they're going to invent a computer to solve this one.